Why is it doing that? Oh, that's so scary. <laughs> Recently, we discovered a mysterious house on the side of the road. Not knowing much about it, we were then notified that this house holds some dark history. It is rumored to have held some of the most darkest spiritual practices, from voodoo to satanic rituals, to dark magic, and even sacrifices. And some say this has opened the door to some of the most malevolent and darkest spirits known to man. Upon arriving to the house, we realized a lot of strange activity and noises coming from inside the house, and noticed that a lot of the rooms were swept out clean inside. At first, we weren't going to do it, but we had to find out what truly haunts these halls. What up YouTube, welcome back to another haunted video. Now today I'm at a spot where you guys have kind of been begging me to come back to. Now this is the ritual house. So I've been to another ritual house, but just so you guys know that this isn't my first house where rituals have been taking place. Literally, this is a ritual house where there have been stories and there has been some past history. Now if you didn't see my previous video, I came here by myself, which was kind of a bad idea. Like I caught some really crazy stuff in there. And if you guys didn't see that, you can literally click on this little bar up here. It's somewhere up there, but it was probably one of the sketchiest things I've ever done before. With that being said, I didn't want to come back alone. So today I brought my girlfriend Chelsea with me. I don't know what we're going to catch. This house is just beyond anything I've literally ever set foot into. Like I did come here by myself, which I don't recommend because not only are you going to get attacked by, let's say spirits, but homeless people and I mean, anyone could really be in the house, but literally you could be attacked by anyone. So I wouldn't really recommend that. If you guys do go on these adventures, don't really go by yourself. I kind of made a kind of made a bad decision there. Nonetheless, guys, we are going to go and explore this. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you didn't see my previous video previously, I did come here by myself, like I said. And if you missed it, I'll have a link in the description below. So go and check that out if you guys haven't done so. We got these masks on because it is pretty disgusting in there and I made a bad decision to not wear one last time I went so we are literally both twinning today <laughs> so the scary thing is that I'm pretty sure it's a full moon we were driving up here and we saw the sky before it got dark and there's a full moon literally already in the sky so that kind of makes stuff a little bit more scary I haven't been here since I did record that video maybe I don't know was it a week I haven't been here since, so I don't know what's going to be changed here, so we're going to go and check it out. I find that the craziest thing about this house is that when you're walking up to it, you have the neighbors or people walking their dogs literally look at you kind of sideways like, you guys are really going into there type thing? Like, I guess they know the history about it. Like, I don't know if they really do, but it's kind of like, man, that place is like really haunted. Like, that's the type of look on their face, so it's kind of scary whenever we come to do these adventures here. You ready for this? Like it's gonna be really sketchy. Be sure to leave a positive comment down below. Maybe drop a thumbs up. Go and check out my other stuff if you guys haven't done so. I don't think Chels knows what she's in for. So we're both gonna have a little bit of a treat tonight. If you guys haven't done so, be sure to follow me on my social media. Go and check out my other videos down below or on my channel if you guys haven't done so. You guys ready to rock? Let's get it. Yo, check that out. Full moon, baby. Yo, do you hear that voice? Like it already came from inside the house. Like it might have just been me, but I swear to God I heard something. So check this out. What do you think that was for? Mm, I, I mean, I have know. no idea. I don't know. It's kind of sketchy. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. If you guys did not see my previous video, I will tell you this: that I did come to this house by myself, which was kind of. Not the best idea, but I wouldn't recommend it. However, I came here and had some really weird stuff happen. Like something was like thrown at me and like, I mean, you guys will probably just have to watch the video. It was freaking crazy. Like I have no idea 
what truly lies in this house it has a different vibe to it i mean it's not necessarily a scary scary video but it is still a haunted video that i did do in the daytime so if you guys didn't see it go down and check it out because that was really scary to me and i did have some experiences there was like stuff being thrown there was like glass shattering it's kind of crazy there was a huge bang that happened above me after i did a spirit box yo look at this there's like glass everywhere for real yo what was that holy man yo this place gives off a totally different vibe eh the, the door is closed what the door is closed did you close it mm -mm. my god look at this place whoa 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 what? did you hear that I swear I just heard something from over here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What, what, what? Listen, did you not hear like, those footsteps from upstairs? No. I heard something from like over here, but not really upstairs. Yo, look at this though. I don't remember this being like all messed up last time. I remember the couch being like over here. Looks like someone Dang. slept the floor. Someone literally swept the floor though. So here's the oh. thing. What, what, what? Am I the only one who's hearing this? I didn't hear it. As soon as you started talking, there was a bang that sounded like it came from like right above that room. Really? Yeah. So now, the thing about this place is that there's been a fair share of rituals and a fair share of voodoo practice. Now, before I go on with the history, this house was actually someone's house. Like, before all of that, this was a real person's house and they really did live in here. Nothing spiritual, nothing ghostly. Like, this was actually someone's house. So, it kind of makes it a little bit weird. I'm not the only one to actually come in here and have experiences. Other people have actually come in here and had some as well. Like not only people that are into the paranormal, but people that have come to take photos, people that are urban explorers and stuff like that. They've all had experiences here. We have a couple of my friends that have come here with each other and had some pretty crazy stuff happen. Someone definitely moved the couch though, for real. Wait, I have a picture of this room and the couch was right here. Yeah, the couch is in this room. Like this is all, this is all literally just empty now. Now we're back here. So there's also a basement too. That sound. Yeah. I didn't hear anything over here, but it was mostly upstairs. Yo, babe. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you touch that? No, 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 babe. Yo, that I literally just, stopped just right when we, when we came in. Yeah, right when we looked at that. Yo, you swear you weren't like. I promise, I didn't come in here. Okay, that's a little sketchy. I didn't even notice that. But didn't you just say you heard like a noise from upstairs? Like you seriously didn't touch that? No, babe, I promise. Cause like what I heard, and I'm not making this up, like I can't make this up. Like when I was in there, I heard like a sound from upstairs, mostly like someone like stomping their foot. Do you think like the stomp was enough to move the fan? I, mean, I don't I know. Doubt it. I mean, that was really sketchy. Like I don't know what the hell that was. We'll have to keep going, like this is some, like I'm not joking guys, this place has legit had its fair share of voodoo and rituals and I guess Ouija boards, I guarantee you 100% people have come in here with Ouija boards and have done some crazy stuff because that pretty much awakens some demons too. Those are not some to really play around with. Why carpet? Yeah, why is there carpet there? It was kind of a weird thing, eh? Mm-hmm. Some carpet. Yo, look at that. I know, it makes me a little nervous to go up. There's a dresser there now. Last time that wasn't there. Okay, then you go first. I hope there's no one here, for real. This is why you guys really should be careful about going places. 
You never know if there's people literally squatting up in here. You sure you're okay? I'm sure you're fine. That's just a little crazy. Yo, look. Do you think someone stood on this to get up there? Possibly. I mean, that wasn't open last time when we came here to take pictures. Was it? It wasn't open? No. It's a little scary. Is that up there? So I guess someone came in and like literally cleared out the place. Like it hasn't even been like a week since I've been here last. I am telling you guys like this is nothing to joke around about. When there's a house that's been, you know, messed around with, with voodoo and rituals and stuff like that. I mean, so much stuff could be open. Like there could be so many doors. There could be so many doors and so many demons literally walking around, you know? Like there could be so many demons literally walking around. It's like, if you guys are doing, you know, Ouija boards, that stuff opens up some portals too. Whether or not you believe it, when you come at night and come to these abandoned houses, stuff happens. So just be careful, that's nothing to really mess around with, like I said before. What the heck? Yo, were these here last time? Um, I don't remember. Some flowers or something? This room has a really weird, like, energy to it. Yo, what if, like, someone was, like, in here? For real. After you, Omar. Man, you can't even get in there. I really tried to open myself up more and, you know, tune into more of the spiritual world. There is a lot that does happen, but... If you don't open yourself up to it, you guys don't experience anything. You guys literally have to open yourself up to this stuff in order for stuff to happen. You might get the odd experience, but if you don't open yourself up to it, nothing really happens. Let's check around the corner. Are you, you want me to go first? I'll go first. No, it's fine. Oh. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What? You didn't hear that? No. Okay. You scared the crap out of I me. I think we're safe to go. All right. Shall we continue? That was a little scary. Which room do you want? Left or right? Pick your power. Oh, I'll take this room right here. This one? Yeah, this one is the room where this desk was in. Oh, here's that doll. Look at it. Oh, Legit. Yeah. Legit. That's such a creepy looking thing, though. I know. Like, imagine if this thing was the one haunting this house. You just touched it. I'm gonna set you up. Legit. <laughs> Standing up like that. It looks like this is the room that people did rituals in. What's like, that? Look at all like, the fake blood on the walls. I mean, that's fake. I don't know. If, that's not really real blood, eh? No, no. The blood would dry up brown. That's what I was thinking. Like, look at this, though. Like, I mean, this is brown. Like. Yeah, that could possibly be blood. And that stuff, too. Like, it's just, like, the fact that it's dried up, it's kind of, like, different. Like, if it was paint, it would have been a different color, you know? Mm -hmm. Same over there. There's, like, a bunch of it. So, yeah, that's, like, dried up. A different color than the walls. Cause like, look at the walls. Yeah, the walls is like you can tell that's kind of paint. Hello. steps mm -hmm. whoa 
what, what, what? There's just like so many different noises, like taps and... I mean, there could be animals running through the walls too, eh? Yeah. Like I'm almost nervous if there's like maybe someone staying here, you know? I mean, I'm sure we would have heard them by now. Yeah. So this place really hasn't been abandoned for long, but it has had its history and its fair share of a lot of kind of unique events. What? It's going off? Tiny bit. It was just to the green one. Is your phone on airplane mode? If you guys are wondering too, we do put our phones on airplane mode because sometimes the K2 meter can really make it spike and that's not really paranormal stuff, so. So we do put our phones on airplane mode, if you guys didn't know. Yo, did you see that? No, I was looking at the kitty. That was like several things that just happened in front of me. Really? Like right here, like behind the light, there was some like movement, like legit. This place is disgusting. Yeah, it's trash. Now look at these. These are Christmas ornaments. In the toilet? In the toilet. Nice. Oh, man. Holy shit. Lights off, lights off. That's a helicopter. Yo, I forgot that there's a guy, there's a neighbor here that we were warned about and he has a helicopter and he has two stump planes that he drives around. What the heck, really? So yeah, apparently he patrols it. This is what I heard from someone, like literally, babe. Like, I'm not joking. That's wild. So like, I don't know if like, he's like, patrolling the area. I don't know if he's patrolling the area, but like, someone told me because they wanted me to come back here mm -hmm. and they're from the area, right? I mean, many of you guys have wanted me to come back here. Like, some of you have even been begging me to come back here because this place was really scary when I came at home. Whoever the spirit may be is obviously still lingering here. But yeah, other people have come here. Mo has come here and done some videos. I'm pretty sure he came alone as well and experienced some stuff. But this place is crazy. The neighborhood is even crazy itself. Straight up didn't hear that. No, what was it? Like it was like, I swear it sounded like a hum. Like a woman humming. You seriously didn't hear that? No. Hello? Who's in here? Hey, what the heck was that? What was that? I don't know. Like that's it's pretty it's pretty like that was loud. That kept going too, eh? Yeah. It's pretty like like we wouldn't have heard them come in, I don't think. Well I closed the door, should we see if it's open? Okay. I mean I don't think we would have heard them, but we can go and check the front door. I'm gonna go first and see. Hello? Oh. What the fuck was that? That was like he was like responding to your hello. I'm not joking, that was a big bang from downstairs again. Did you close that door? Yeah. It's open. I closed it tight. You closed it tight? Yeah. It's literally open. 
I mean, it could have popped open maybe. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Did you see anyone? I don't know. I didn't go very far, but as of right now, no. Whoa! 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 Dude, that just fully fucking moved! Yo, that thing just flew behind me! Dude, we're literally just upstairs. No one can be upstairs to push that. It's still going. Hello? Okay. Oh, that scared me, man. That scared me so bad. Hold on, I gotta take a minute. Yo, I'm not joking. There's some fucking shit in this house. No, like spirits. Like there's some energy in here. Obviously, like, dude. There's been trauma that happened here. Like I, I'm like shaking. Like for real, like. I wasn't expecting that. That's a fucking heavy desk, baby. Like, even after the fact, like, I pointed the camera up there, and, like, it was still cracking and stuff. I don't think it wants us to go back upstairs. My legs are, like, literally shaking. Down. Like it's blocking the stairs set now. Hello? Is that whispering? What is that? It's quiet. It's dead quiet now. Up there. I heard that. Hello? If you're a spirit here, can you show yourself? Crazy energy. And you haven't even made it to the basement yet. I was not expecting that to happen. No, me neither. Like, through all the things that literally could have possibly happened, I was not expecting that. That was the last thing ever I would ever expect. <sighs> I'm like freaking out. Oh, yeah, definitely people have been here mm -hmm. since the last time. It is so quiet. Like for real. It's like a spooky quiet. See that rustling? What? There's rustling when you push it. I mean, that's probably an animal. Who's here with us? Yo, this is like... It's too quiet. How's the K2 meter? Oh, I just the way. I just want to see like, if anything down here can be... It's nothing? No. Oh. Did it just go off? A little bit. Is anybody here? Was that always? I don't think so. I think that was outside. Yeah, these crickets from outside. Fuck. How are you feeling? Like, kind of cold, to be honest. The temperature did drop down here, to be honest. Yeah, it is pretty chilly now. Hello? Here, can you make the K2 meter go off? Oh my god! Whoa, 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 whoa. <gasps> what 
the f man? No, 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 no. I don't know what the hell that was. For real. There's someone here. Sure, I'm actually nervous. No, that's dip, for real. That's, there's so much happening here, I just want to make sure both of us are good. Okay. For real. We're gonna dip. Okay, here, go. go out this way. Yo, straight up. Like, listen. Okay, that's it. That's it. For real. I don't know if you guys can see that, but like through the trees, it's legit a full freaking moon. <sighs> All right, guys, we're gonna call it there. That was intense. That's the house of paranormal activity, man. For real. Like if there's a house to go to in Canada, that's the one. Oh my god. Yo, do you even feel weird like here though? I don't even want to be like on the property. I just really hope nothing followed us, to be honest. So if you guys are wondering why we're leaving, usually if you don't feel good in a house, don't stay. Like the energy could literally rub into you, it could rub off you. Like my voice is even going from like screaming so fucking loud. Yo yo! Is that the helicopter? Yeah, the same one. No way. Yeah. Yo, we gotta get to the car. Fuck. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, it's coming our way. It's literally turning, baby. It's literally turning. I got my light off. S stay here for a sec. Why is it doing that? Oh, that's so scary. Ah, oh! oh my god, oh my god. Yo, 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 yo. Your car's going off. Hey, turn it off. Where are the keys? Do you have the keys? Oh, shit. Yo, and the K2 meter is still the going. The K2 is still going off. Okay, let's go. Let's get in there. Wait, babe, it's getting stronger. We're going in my car. Oh, wait, wait, what? Yo, the car's literally right there. Yo, that's like a solid orange. Yo, it's going right to the car. Let's go check it out. Let's see if it gets... Yo, do we need to clear my car now? That is sketchy. Like, what was it with the K2 too? Like, the K2 meter was like going off yeah. towards your car. Like, heavy, like, orange. Oh, that was scary. I don't know what to think about that, guys. Oh, man. Like, I don't know what to think about that. It went from like here to like here. Zero to 100 real freaking quick. Yeah, like I feel like we're only in that house for like 10 minutes. You guys should do the same. If you guys ever feel like you're uncomfortable or like vulnerable to like any type of energy that's there, you should leave. Like whether or not, like whoever you are, you should actually, you should legitimately leave. It's not really something to really, you don't know what's gonna go down, right? Oh my God. All right, well, we're gonna head out right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. My voice is literally gone. Be sure to drop a thumbs up. Go and follow me on my social media account if you guys haven't done so. I mean, hopefully we didn't really bring anything home with us. I doubt it. Be sure to drop a thumbs up, guys. Leave a positive comment down below. Let me know if you guys heard or maybe saw anything we didn't catch. And we'll see you guys in the next adventure. Peace.